One of my favorite questions to ask people is, what are you doing for fun? I like asking that question because it tells me something about the other person, and it is a reminder that fun is important. We need things that are enjoyable in our lives. We need some distractions from our problems or from our serious work. We need some things that we do just because we like to do them. What do I do for fun? I play hockey, I play squash, and I love working in my garage. I, I like doing mechanical stuff. I, I work on old motorcycles, and I've got a 1973 Dodge Dart that I've been restoring for a long time. It's never going to be a show car. It's not much to look at. It's pretty rusty, but I've done a lot of work on that thing, and I really enjoy it because it's just a pure distraction. The other day I decided I was going to fix the exhaust leak on this car and so to take the exhaust manifold out uh, you had to undo 12 nuts on the exhaust and intake manifold. And, and I was concerned about this because it's very easy to break one of those things off and if you break one of them off you're in big trouble. So for about two weeks I was spraying them with penetrating fluid and trying to make sure they would come off easily. I got 11 off and then the 12th one broke off right in the head. So I thought I was in trouble, but I ended up taking my welder and I welded a nut onto the end of that broken off stud and I was gonna turn it out of the block and snap, I broke the nut off. So I welded 10 more nuts on there, wouldn't come off. So now I've got this broken off stud sitting in the engine and I can't get it out, and I don't know what to do, and I've wasted eight hours of my day on Friday trying to get this stupid thing out, and it's still stuck. And I can't fix my car until I get that stud out of the block. Sunday morning comes, and I end up telling one of the guys at church this story. He's a mechanic, and I told him just because I thought he might enjoy hearing about what had happened, right? Misery loves company. And so I knew he would understand how frustrating it is to break a stud off when you're trying to remove something and now you can't get it out of the block. My friend Tom listened to me and sort of laughed a little bit and said, yeah, I've done that lots of times too. They can be hard to get out sometimes. And that was the end of the conversation for the time being. But after church, he came up to me and said, what are you doing this afternoon? I said, I don't know. He said, I'm going to grab my acetylene torch and I'm going to come over to your house and we're going to heat that block up and get that stud out. And do you know what my first reaction was? My internal first reaction was, you're not helping me. I'm, I'm going to do this on my own. I don't need your help. And yet, the fact of the matter was, I did need his help. What on earth is it about me that makes me say, I don't want you to help me? I like helping other people. I like making things easier for someone else, but I don't want anyone helping me. You know what that problem is? The problem is that I'm too prideful. It's my pride that stops me from allowing others to help me. So I shoved my pride to the side and I said to Tom, you know what, Tom, if, you were, if you're nice enough to come help me, I'd sure appreciate it. So Tom came over and within 30 seconds, he had that stud out. I fought with it for eight hours. He worked on it for 30 seconds with his acetylene torch and it was solved. I'd be stupid not to ask for help. I'd be dumb to tell him to stay home, but I almost did because my pride gets in the way. Scripture tells us in Galatians chapter six, verse two, it says, carry each other's burdens. And in this way, you will fulfill the law of Christ. Carry each other's burdens implies that you're going to allow someone to help you carry the burden when you need it. That's not only a command to help someone, it's a command to allow others to help you. We need to get past our pride. We need to get past saying, I'm a self-made man and I don't need anyone's help. That's not true. When you were little, someone looked after you when you couldn't look after yourself. You've done nothing only on your own. Everyone needs help once in a while, and everyone needs friends. So put your pride to the side and allow someone to help you. It'll be good for you, it'll be good for them, and you'll be thankful that you've got some help around you.